all right yes so as you can see here over here it's introduction yeah so this uh, video is related to the introduction part so i will going to uh, discuss regarding how to give an introduction in an interview so let, let's start and uh, if you miss my name is sanath okay so we'll start with the introduction part first okay so when you go for an interview the first round uh, generally or you might have experienced that when hr ask you that tell me about yourself or give your introduction so this round is known as p i r round okay that stands for personal introduction round right so it's personal introduction round or you can say personal introductory round as well okay so this is uh, when your introduction comes under this round and it will be uh, with the first round in any organization now this uh, round used to be the most critical and most important round why because this round is always termed as a rejection round that means when hr comes to take your interview and it's your first round then he come up with the frame of mind that he will going to reject as much as he can or she can so that he can come up with few people who are good enough or who are best or sorry who are better than those people why because uh, see uh, it's a it's a first round so obviously the volume of candidate will be pretty high to come and to uh, to come up for that interview so and generally few people have that kind of uh, uh, skills uh, for the the same designation or for the same vacancy however there are many people who are not for that same uh, i mean whose profiles are not good or are not uh, connected with that uh, vacancy however they used to come so instead of listening to all of them it's rather a uh, good to reject all those who are not suitable for that vacancy or for that designation so it's so th that's the reason why it, this round is termed as a rejection round okay and pir means your introduction so obviously candidate always have a time to prepare his introduction so an hr always expect a candidate to give his an introduction in a very best possible way so even if a candidate making an error in while giving an introduction that means he is out so that means he didn't uh, did his i'm sorry he didn't uh, do his uh, homework correctly all right so uh, that's why it's always termed as rejection out so we will come up that how we have to give an introduction so i will tell you i'll give you first i'll write a skeleton here that what all points you have to remember while giving an introduction okay so the first thing which you have to give while giving an introduction or which you have to speak while giving what could it be is it a name or a date of birth the first thing when we speak or when we give an introduction is it a date of birth or a name name or date of birth okay fine yes few are pretty correct who said that neither its name nor its uh, date of birth it's always an opening it's always always a a greeting when you wish you have to wish first and then you have to come up with your name so yes that wish and those greetings part come under opening and then your introduction start that is with your name your date of birth or it's also known as sun sign i'll tell you okay and then your academic qualification then your experience if you have any if any then about your family then your hobby and at then closing so this is the skeleton of your introduction you may follow in this way as well it's pretty good okay so let's start with the first one that is opening now opening means you as i told you that it means greeting you have to wish so i'll i'll write the time you have to the, the first thing or the only thing which you have to remember is the time which we have to take in our mind is the time in which uh, in what time or in which time you are giving an introduction so i'll start with 12 night till 12 noon if your introduction lies between this time then it will be good morning 
okay and if it is from 12 noon till 4 or 5 pm it's up to you anytime till 4 or 5 it will be good afternoon and from 4 to 5 I mean from 4 or 5 pm till 12 night it always be good evening okay so there is no scope for good night because it's an introduction part you're introducing yourself so you never say good night in, in, while introducing yourself or in your introduction so these are three uh, way to start your introduction okay now when you introduce yourself or when you greet so whom you will going to greet obviously you you are giving an interview or you came up for an interview so there will be a person who will be listening your interview so that person is known as interviewer who is taking your interview and the person who used to give an interview is known as interviewee okay I'll give you one example now this is drive drive means chalana and if I add R here so it's driver chalane wala in the same manner interview chalane wala that is interviewer I add R here and the person who gives interview is interviewee okay trainer trainee okay fine so that is your opening now if your interviewer is only one person and he's male then you have to say good morning sir if female good morning ma'am if both are male or female or one male or one female in all these way 